Over the past several years, the divorce rate in America has been quoted at approximately 50%. Just recently, that number has decreased. However, that's a misleading statistic because many non-traditional families, meaning those couples that have never married, break up too, resulting in what is, for the children of those relationships, a divorce. 75% of divorced persons will eventually remarry, and 65% of those unions will involve children from a prior marriage or relationship. When we, once again, include children residing with parents who are cohabitating, that number rises dramatically. Currently, one of three Americans is now a step-parent, a step-child, a step-sibling, or some other member of a blended family. With these statistics, it becomes obvious that how you respond as parents to your child's experience of your divorce will significantly influence their mental health and well-being beyond your divorce and into their future as a member of not one, but more likely two new families. As a counselor, my interest in this topic and my passion for working with families going through divorce and remarriage are driven by my own and my children's experiences. My first marriage lasted eight years, and we had two children before we divorced. I have been remarried now for almost 27 years with a blended family of his, mine, and ours together. I have experienced all aspects of the raising of kids from divorce and remarriage, and my children all have step-siblings and half-siblings. They are all adults now, and they are all friends who genuinely love and support one another. We have had the opportunity now to look back with them on their experiences in our family and to identify what we did well and the things we could have done better. In my presentation titled, Helping Children Heal from Divorce, I share some of what we have learned ourselves, what our five children have taught us, and what I have learned from working with divorcing families in my private counseling practice. It really begins with understanding that while the decision to divorce has been made by the adults in the family, for the children, life has changed without their permission. It is imperative that the parents in their life recognize this reality. The child's perspective is one of loss, and with loss comes the need for grieving. Much of the behavior that we witness in kids going through divorce is a direct result of the grieving process. In my presentation, I discuss in detail the dynamics of the child's perspective of loss and a parent's responsibility to honor those feelings. I also discuss expected age level reactions to divorce, the adjustments necessary to accommodate the duality of two households, and I offer some specific suggestions and common pitfalls to avoid as your child adjusts to a life that changed without their consent.